Hello. Okay, so today uh, we're going to be talking about a sub concept in forces, uh, which is dealing with buoyancy. Uh, some keywords are buoyancy, buoyant forces, uh, uptrust. Uptrust is one of the most common keyword that we will use, and uh, Archimedes, Archimedes uh, principle. Okay, so what causes uptrust? Okay, let's say uh, you place an object inside some water. Okay, so uh, you have an object that's here and it's floating uh, inside water. It could have been any fluid, but uh, let's say we take it as uh, water at this moment. Now the pressure, the pressure at the top Right, the pressure at the top it's different from the pressure at the bottom. Right, simply because uh, the pressure at the top is exposed to atmospheric pressure, uh, so the object right now in the fluid it's uh, being pressed downwards due to atmospheric pressure, and then you also have uh, the upward uh, pressure due to the fluid. Right, due to the fluid. Right. So the difference in the pressure uh, between the top and the bottom will give rise to your uptrust. Uh, after all, pressure pressure is equals to force per unit area. Right. So force equals to pressure multiplied by surface area. Right. So the force at the bottom, in this case, the bottom of the object that I have drawn here, right, the force experienced at the bottom it's larger than the force at the top. Right, and this gives rise to uptrust. Okay. Right. Okay, so um looking at the picture that I we have embedded uh in this video, um it leads to Archimedes a revelation about the magnitude of the uptrust. Okay, what he realized is that the uptrust right, that is experienced by an object placed in a fluid is actually equals to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object when it is in the fluid. Right, let's take a look at the left diagram. You can see that um, I have a 10 kilogram mass, right, 10 kilogram mass, and it's uh, not uh, placed in the water, into the water yet. Uh, in this case, uh, the fluid, uh, let's uh, treat it as water. So when I place um, the 10 kg mass into uh, the blue color water, what happens is you have this level of extension, right? This level of uh, increase in the level of the water, and this represents basically the fluid, right? That is displaced by the 10 kg mass, right? Okay, that's why that's why the water level increases, right? Because uh, the mass is in the water and it pushes, uh, displaces the water upwards, right? Giving you this additional level. Okay, so the uh, Archimedes principle is saying that the weight, right? The weight of this fluid, right, is equal to the uptrust that is acting on the 10 kg mass now. So, would you be able to tell me, by looking at the scale uh, readings, what is the value for the uptrust? Right. So, in this case, you can see that uh, when we place the fluid, when we place the 10 kg object inside the blue color uh, looking fluid, which in this case is water, uh, we can see that the reading, right, as shown by the two machines, it's reduced, right? It's reduced from 10 to 6, right? 10 to 6 kg. So, uptrust in this case, right? Uptrust 
in this case is equal to the 4 kg of displaced water right not forgetting to multiply by 9.81 right because this is after all weight right weight as mentioned so it's mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity right so the difference in the reading tells me that the upthrust is associated to 4 kg mass and then and subsequently I need to multiply by acceleration due to gravity right of 9.81 Okay, let's uh, give you an example to see uh, what kind of problems that may come up and how do you go about solving it. Right? For example, uh, let's say I have um, a wall right, from which I hang a piece of uh, rope and I have the mass uh, that is hung from the rope and say the mass it's um, uh, 4 kg. Okay, let's use the previous one and I place it inside a fluid right. okay then the question can be calculate the tension uh, in the rope right how would you go about doing this right. uh, a couple of other values of course needs to be given uh, for example this is water water uh, will have the density of 1000 kg meter minus 3 Right. And let's say uh, the density of uh, the mass it's uh, heavier, it's larger, so 1,200 uh, kilogram meter minus 3. Okay, so how do you make calculations to uh, derive the answer for the tension in the rope? Okay, the first, first and foremost, uh, standard procedure, you have to draw the free body diagram for the mass. Right, so at this moment you have a uh, tension that's acting on the mass. Okay, secondly, you should also have you should also have the uptrust. Right, uptrust is acting on uh, the mass at this moment. So let's label it U, and say uh, we also have, of course, my weight mg. Right, that's acting. Uh, downwards. Okay, so let's revert back to the original color. Uh, given that this mass is stationary, in other words, it's an equilibrium, uh, how do you form an equation for it? Uh, two upward forces, one downward force, so uh, equation should be T plus U equals to mg, right? All the upward force, right? All the upward forces uh, added up together, it's equal to the downward force. Okay, continuing from here, so tension is equals to mg minus uptrust. Okay, let me continue it here. So tension is equals to the mass of the block, which is my 4 kilogram mass multiplied by 9.81 minus the uptrust. Now this gets a bit tricky here. Yeah, let's take a look. So this is uh, still the same as usual, minus uptrust. Uptrust now is the mass times acceleration due to gravity of the water, of the water, right? Not of the mass, of the water that has been displaced, right? So how much water was being displaced by the 4 kg mass? you need to find the volume of the mass because the volume of the mass is the volume of the water that has been displaced right so equals to 4 9.81 minus now the uh, mass of this water right the mass of this water is the density of water right h2o times the volume of the water h2o displaced right displaced okay and multiply by g okay so this is therefore equals to 4 9.81 minus now density of water is given which is 1000 right now the volume of the water displaced how do you figure that out you need to figure out the volume of the mass 
right? Given that density, it's mass over volume. So volume equals to mass over density. So mass of the object, which is 4 kg, divided by the density of the mass gives me the volume of the mass, which in turn is the volume of the water displaced. And finally, multiplying by 9.81. Uh, okay, so uh, using your calculator, you should be able to have a value for the answer. Okay, just reiterating, this is 4 multiplied by 9.81 minus 1000, which is the density of water, multiplied by the mass of the object, divided by the, its own density of the mass, multiplied by 9.81. Okay, thank you.